Giants Injury Update, Players Sidelined and Recovery Progress, What You Need to Know, August 26, 7.25 p.m. In a preseason clash against the Jets, the Giants faced a wave of injuries in just one half. Tight end Chris Myrick was ruled out due to a hand injury, while rookie wide receiver Bryce Ford Wheaton's night ended early due to a knee issue. The first quarter saw safety Bobby McCain and cornerback Zion Gilbert also sidelined due to concussion and hamstring concerns, respectively. The second quarter brought further woes as offensive lineman Wyatt Davis suffered an ankle injury, requiring him to leave the field and be swiftly ruled out. August 24, 12.15 p.m. A concerning incident unfolded during practice as Giants tight end Tommy Sweeney experienced what's being termed a medical event. Coach Brian Dable shared that Sweeney is undergoing evaluations and is in good spirits. The presence of Sweeney's father added a layer of concern, but the team released a statement assuring stability. August 23, 2.45 p.m. Troubling news hit Giants camp as tight end Tommy Sweeney faced a medical event during training camp practice. After moments of medical attention, Sweeney was taken off the field. Reassuringly, the team reported his stable condition, offering some relief amid the uncertainty. August 16, 3.55 p.m. Promising news emerged for Giants tackle Evan Neal as he successfully cleared the concussion protocol. With the final step completed, Neal is set to participate without a non-contact jersey, ensuring his availability for the upcoming preseason game against the Carolina Panthers. August 16, 10 a.m. Optimism surrounds Evan Neal as he progresses in the concussion protocol, signaling a positive direction for his return. Wide receiver Cole Beasley's absence due to a leg injury is noted, while Wandell Robinson's recovery progress is underway. Defensive lineman Ryder Anderson's triceps injury rules him out for the next game. August 14, 9.51 a.m., Giants coach Brian Dayball provided a slew of injury updates, shedding light on the team's status. Evan Neal's presence in the concussion protocol is highlighted, alongside the activation of defensive tackle DJ Davidson from the PUP list. Wide receiver Colin Johnson's non-serious knee injury and cornerback Cordell Flott's return to practice are also detailed. August 7, 10.25 a.m., recovery milestones were celebrated as defensive tackle Sean Robinson and guard Marcus McKethan passed their physicals and were taken off the PUP list. Evan Neal remains in the concussion protocol, but accompanies the team for joint practices with the Lions. August 5th, 4.50 p.m., Coach Brian Dable shared insights on various players' statuses. Evan Neal's concussion protocol journey continues, while Ryder Anderson's triceps injury requires weeks of recovery. Aziz Ojulari's rest days and the return of players like Leonard Williams and Sterling Shepard are also covered. August 4th, 1.45 p.m., tackle Evan Neal's unfortunate concussion is confirmed, placing him in the protocol. Neal's history of injuries is discussed, highlighting his prior MCL injury. August 1st, 10.30 a.m. Center. J.C. Hassenauer's tricep injury leads to his placement on injured reserve. The Giants sign Sean Harlow in response. Hassenauer's long-term absence is acknowledged, impacting the team's offensive line depth. July 31, 11.22 a.m. Center. J.C. Hassenauer faces a triceps injury requiring surgery and prolonged absence. His competition for the starting center position and the impact on the offensive line depth is addressed. July 25, 4.05 p.m. Six Giants players are placed on the PUP list as they work through injuries. Wide receivers, Sterling Shepard and Wandale Robinson's recovery progress is highlighted, along with the situation of DT Ashawn Robinson. Additional players sidelined and wide receiver Jamison Crowder's calf injury are outlined.